Welcome to EduRev. Hi all, my name is Sarika Tulsiani. And today we are going to talk about the part 3 of time and work. So in this video, we are going to look at the major topic of pipes and cisterns. Now pipes and cisterns has the same concept of time and work. Now how is it different from time and work? We'll be looking that into this video. Now let's understand. Suppose if I tell you I have a cistern which has two filling pipes A and B. ठीक है? Pipe A can fill the cistern in let's say 10 minutes. Pipe B can fill the cistern in let's say 20 minutes. Now the question is in how many minutes will the cistern be full if both the pipes are opened together? ठीक है? In how many minutes will the cistern be full if both the pipes are opened together? So instead of taking man or men and their days, we'll be talking about the pipes and their minutes. So you have two pipes A and B. A takes 10 minutes. B takes 20 minutes. We will find the LCM of 10 and 20. We'll be using the LCM method the same as time and work. So that will be 20 units. So let's talk about one minute. A takes 10 minutes to fill 20 units. So one minute me kitna fill karega? Two units. B takes 20 minutes to fill 20 units. So one minute me it will fill one unit. So total it fills three units in one minute. So 20 units fill करने को it will take how much time? So it will take 20 by 3 minutes. So in these many minutes your cistern will be full. ठीक है? But let's say for example I have a leak here. ठीक है? ठीक है? I have an opening here. This leak can empty the tank in 15 minutes. ठीक है? So the leak can empty the tank in 15 minutes. Now, in how many minutes will my tank be full? In how many minutes will my tank be full? Now, if I am asking you that the tank has to be full, I will take A and B to be positive and the leak to be negative because the leak is working against me. ठीक है? It is working against me. So, instead of taking only A B, I will be taking A B and the leak is well. and do the same lcm method as this one but suppose if i tell you in how many minutes will my tank be empty or in how many minutes will my cistern be empty so in that case the leak will be positive and pipes a and b will be negative so generally this is a mistake which students do they consider the pipes the filling pipes to be positive and the leak to be negative not necessary depending upon the final part of the question whether you want the tank to be empty or full you will decide what is going to be positive and what is going to be negative the rest of the process completely remains the same so let's have a look at the few questions so that you will get better clarity now this is our first question pipe a take a and b take 10 and 20 minutes respectively to fill an empty tank c takes 40 minutes to empty a full tank find the time taken to fill an empty tank if all three pipes are opened simultaneously so basically a takes 10 minutes to fill the tank b takes 20 minutes to fill the tank we have c which takes 40 minutes to empty find the time taken for what find the time taken to fill an empty tank you have to fill it so your a and b will be positive and c will be negative because it is working against you so i'm going to put it in bracket because it is negative now whatever data is given you're going to find the lcm of that So I'm going to find the LCM of 10, 20, and 40. The LCM of 10, 20, and 40 is going to be 40 units. Now let's talk about one minute. A takes 10 minutes to fill 40 units because this is our total work. ठीक है? तो one minute में how much will it fill? It will fill four units because 10 into 4 will give you 40. B takes 20 minutes to fill 40 units. तो one minute में it will fill Two units because twenty two is forty. C takes forty minutes to empty forty units. So one minute may it will empty one unit. It is emptying. Now what is the net result? Understand. 
4 plus 2, 6 units are getting filled and 1 unit is getting emptied. So 6 minus 1, 5 units are getting filled in 1 minute. Okay, 5 units are getting filled in 1 minute. How much are we supposed to fill? We are supposed to fill 40 units. So 40 units fill karne ko kitna time lagega? If 5 units take 1 minute, 40 units will take 8 minutes and that is your answer. Okay? Now let's have a look at the next question. Pipe P and Q take 24 and 36 minutes to fill an empty tank. If both the tanks take 18 minutes to fill an empty tank along with an outlet pipe R. It's an outlet pipe. So it's like a leak. Find the time taken by R to empty the full tank. So if your tank is full, R ko khali karne ko kitna time lagega? That's the question. Now dekho, P takes 24 minutes to fill the tank. Q takes 36 minutes to fill the tank. If R is working alone, we don't know how much time does it take to empty. But if all three are open, if PQR all three are open, it takes 18 minutes to fill the tank. Okay, it takes 18 minutes to fill the tank. Here, see the net result. Kya ho hai? Net result is 18 minutes to fill an empty tank. So I will take R as negative because my net result is 18 minutes to fill. Okay, so R is negative. Now again, whatever data is given, we are supposed to find the LCM. So we need the LCM of 24, 36 and 18. So the LCM of these three will be 72 units. Okay, now let's talk about one minute. P takes 24 minutes to fill 72 units. So one minute may kitna fill karega? Three units. Q takes 36 minutes to fill 72 units. So one minute may it will fill two units. Net result kya ho raha hai? 18 minutes mein 72 fill ho raha hai. Okay, 18 minutes mein 72 fill ho raha hai. 18 watts are 72. 18 fours are 72. Okay, so 1 minute mein 4 units fill ho raha hai. Correct? If 18 minutes 72, 1 minute is 4 units. Now, hua kya dekho? P and Q filled 5 units. But your net result is only 4 units. That means... R has emptied one unit. Okay, R ne khali kiya one unit. So, R one minute me one unit khali karta hai. So, in order to empty the full tank, which is 72 units, it is going to take how much time? It is going to take 72 minutes. So, 72 minutes is your answer. So, this is how you are going to approach the problem. Now, See the next one. X and Y are filling pipes which can fill the tanks in 15 and 20 minutes respectively. Z is an emptying pipe which can empty the full tank in 30 minutes. So X and Y are filling, Z is empty. The three pipes are operated continuously one after another in XYZ. So basically your order is XYZ, each being kept open for two minutes until the tank is filled. After how much time will the tank be full? So basically, they are not open together. They are not open simultaneously. Each of or each of the pipes is open for 2 to 2 minutes. And then now we have to figure out how much time is it going to take to fill the tank. Now, they go. X takes 15 minutes to fill the tank. Y takes 20 minutes to fill the tank. Z is an emptying pipe. It takes 30 minutes to empty. See, the end question is what? After how much time will the tank be full? So, I will take Z as negative because we have to fill the tank. Your first process is going to be the same. You have to find the LCM of these three. So, 15, 20 and 30 ka LCM will be 60 units. So, we'll talk about one minute. X takes 15 minutes to fill 60 units. So, one minute may it will fill four units. Y takes 20 minutes to fill 60 units. So one minute may it will fill three units. And Z takes 30 minutes to empty 60 units. So one minute may it is going to empty two units because 32 is 60. Now each of them is open for two minutes. Okay? So two minutes may X ne kya kiya? 
वन मिनट में फिल करता है फोर यूनिट्स दो मिनट में फिल किया एट वाई टू मिनट्स में कितना फिल करेगा सिक्स Z टू मिनट्स में एम कितना करेगा फोर सो बेसिकली इट इज एट प्लस सिक्स माइनस फोर सो दैट मीन्स टेन यूनिट्स आर गेटिंग फिल्ड इन सिक्स मिनट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज टू मिनट्स ऑफ X, टू मिनट्स ऑफ Y, टू मिनट्स ऑफ Z. तो दस यूनिट फिल हुआ है सिक्स मिनट्स में ठीक है हाउ मच आर वी सपोज टू फिल दिस इज आर टोटल वर्क सो वी हैव टू फिल सिक्सटी यूनिट्स so the question is to fill 60 units how much time will it take 10 ko 6 lagta hai to 60 ko it will take 36 minutes that is your answer so this is how you approach the problem now let's look at another one now what does it say a tank has a leak at the bottom which empties it at 6 liter per minute so we have a tank which has a leak at the bottom this leak can empty it at 6 liters per minute theek okay? hai so this is the emptying rate it also has a filling tap which can fill the tank in 6 hours so you have a filling pipe which can fill it in 6 hours the tank takes 18 hours to be full again it is becoming full फाइंड द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द टैंक ठीक है वॉट इज द कैपेसिटी हाउ मच ऑफ वॉटर कैन बी देर इन द टैंक दैट इज द क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट बट अगेन द मीनिंग इज द सेम द प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू बी द सेम सो वी हैव अ फिलिंग पाइप वी हैव द लीक एंड वी हैव बोथ ऑपरेटिंग फिलिंग प्लस लीक ठीक है ना वॉट आर द सेम देखो so it has a filling pipe which can fill in 6 hours so 6 hours mein fill kar deta hai theek hai leak takes how much time to empty we don't know we know the speed of the leak the speed of the leak is 6 liters per minute 6 liter khali karta hai ek minute mein but uska speed kitna hai we don't know now because the leak was also open the tank took 18 hours to fill so 18 hours laga fill karne ko again whatever is the data we going to find the lc 6 and 18 ka lcm is 18 units now let's talk about 1 r let's talk about 1 r now filling pipe takes 6 hours to fill 18 units so 1 r mein it is filling 3 units now if you talk about f plus leak it is taking 18 hours to fill 18 units so 1 r mein it is filling only 1 unit correct it is filling only 1 unit matlab filling ne 3 unit to fill kiya बट नेट रिजल्ट से वन का आया मतलब लीक ने टू यूनिट्स खाली कर दिया सो योर लीक इज एम्पटिंग टू यूनिट्स एवरी आर सो अंडरस्टैंड इफ लीक एम्पटीज टू यूनिट्स इन वन आर इन ऑर्डर टू एम टी एटीन यूनिट्स हाउ मच टाइम विल इट टेक इट विल टेक नाइन आर्स ठीक है सो दैट मीन्स इफ माई लीक इज ओपन फॉर नाइन आर्स my tank will become empty okay my tank will become empty they are asking you what is the capacity of the tank see we know the leak can empty 6 liters in 1 minute okay so let's talking let's talk about the leak leak can empty 6 liters in 1 minute so if i ask you in 1 hour which is 60 minutes how many liters will it empty it will empty 6 liters into 60 correct because one hour has 60 minutes so that is 360 liters are getting emptied in one hour i know if the leak is open for 9 hours the tank will be empty completely so 9 hours me how much can it, can it empty so this will be 6 nines are 54 so this will be 9 threes are 27 27 plus 5 is 30 Okay, twenty-seven plus five is thirty-two. So that means in nine hours, the tank can, the leak can empty three two four zero. So that means the capacity of the tank is three two four zero liters. Because when the leak is open, it can empty the full tank. So full tank means three two four zero liters. And this is your answer. Now let's look at the next one. What does it say? 
two taps can normally fill a tank in 16 and 48 hours but a leak can empty the tank in 24 hours is present at 3/4 of the tank's height from the base so understand the leak is not present at the base it is present at 3/4 of height above the base find the time taken to fill the tank if the taps are opened simultaneously how much time will it take to fill if the taps are, tanks are the taps are opened simultaneously now imagine you have a tank like this something like this theek hai the leak is at 3/4 of the height let's say this is your complete height so the leak is at 3/4 of the height you have two taps so tap 1 takes 16 hours to fill the tank tap 2 takes 48 hours to fill the tank you have the leak also which is present at 3/4 of the height it takes 24 hours to empty theek okay? hai so when how are we supposed to deal with the leak that we'll discuss later first step is the same find the lcm the so 16 48 and 24 the lcm will be 48 units only now leak is empty so i will take it as negative because we have to fill the tank okay now let's talk about 1 hour now tap 1 16 hours 48 units so 1 hour it will take it will fill 3 units tap 2 will fill only 1 unit the leak takes 24 hours to fill 20 to empty 48 units so 1 hour me it will empty 2 units okay 1 hour me it will empty 2 units to see what is happening this 48 units is your total work so that means if 48 units are filled in my tank the tank will be completely full right so can i say the height of the tank is 48 units theek hai because when there is 48 units it will be completely full so the height of the tank is 48 3/4 the of the height means what it means 3/4 of 48 which is nothing but 36 units so that means until 36 units the leak will not be working because the leak is not even present okay so only the two taps will be working okay until 3/4 of the height or until 36 units only my two taps are working now let's understand let's talk about the two taps So tap one and tap two can fill four units in one hour. They can fill four units in one hour. We have to go up to thirty six units. So thirty six units will take how much time? To fill thirty six units, they are definitely going to take uh, nine hours. Okay, they are going to take nine hours. So nine hours is done. Now what is happening? Thirty six units fill हो चुका. Now your tap one is working. plus tap 2 is working plus the leak will also work because your water has reached this level now the water is increasing so now your leak will also work now what is happening 3 plus 1 four units to fill ho raha but two units empty bhi ho raha so 4 minus 2 will be two units so your net result is two units are getting filled in one hour theek hai two units are getting filled in one hour we have filled 36 units already 48 mein se 36 ho gaya so there are 12 units remaining so the question is 12 units fill karne ko kitna time lagega two units ko lagta hai 1 hour theek hai so 12 units will take 12 by 2 which is 6 hours theek hai now the question is what is the total time taken so the total time pehle idhar laga 9 hours then idhar laga 6 hours so your total time is 15 hours so it will take 15 hours to fill the entire tank so in this video we have seen the concept of pipes and cisterns which is the same as time and work so after this i would request you to try a few questions and give certain mock tests which have been designed by our experienced edurev educators so that you get a complete clarity whether you are really comfortable with the topic or not also if you have any doubts you can write in to us at support@edurev.in and for anything else you can visit the website www.edurev.in
I hope you are clear with the concept of time and work along with pipes and cisterns. Thank you so much.